So in this video, I want to show you that you can sideload the Google Play services. Uh, someone asked this in another, in another video, so I decided to go ahead and do it just to show you that it is possible. So um, you'll need to do this in a certain order in order for it to work correctly. And uh, I'll leave a link in the description to get the files. Uh, but um, what I did was I created a folder after downloading all of the things I needed. You just need these four things right here. Uh, so the way you'll install them is you'll actually install this one on the left first Google account then Google Play services and you'll skip over to Google this is a framework so Google services and you'll come back and install Google Play in that order and then uh, you'll be able to open the Play Store <laughs> because if you do it in any different order you won't be able to open the Play Store and I found that um, everything works like it should. I haven't had any issues with it. Um, and again, I did this just to show some of the subscribers on my channel that uh, I'm sure this is old news, uh, but if you didn't know, you can't do it and there's no root, but there is a catch. If you have an AT&T version of this, you can't do this. It has to be on the unlocked version only. So if you were able to, uh, if you're fortunate enough to grab one of these um, for 199, 189, 230 when they drop them down to those prices you pretty much got a really nice deal because you can still have all your Google services and you get your Amazon Fire Phone as well so as you can see here everything works flawlessly let's go to movies and everything is just like um, the regular and a regular Android phone so I installed my Google Voice I tested it out it does work I set it to ask me before making a call and also um, use permanently for Google voice calls and it works both ways it works flawlessly Chromecast works uh, Google Chrome works as you can see here it's got all of my things synced here everything synced and I'll just click on something <laughs> I haven't had any issues with no crashes or anything um, just remember to install them in the order that I, I told you to install them in if, if you're going to do this and you have a Fire Phone if you haven't already done so if you're contemplating getting a Fire Phone uh, that was the purpose of this video to let you know that you can do it and it does not harm your device and you can just take it off if you decide you don't want to have them on there so you can uninstall everything and that's the good part about it uh, it doesn't require any kind of root or anything and everything will work flawlessly just like now the reason that I really want to do this uh, for demo purposes because I'm going to take this off I don't know I might leave it on but it has everything synced on here for me so uh, my Amazon web browser the Silk browser doesn't have anything synced so all my passwords and everything are synced on Chrome which is what I enjoy so uh, this works out pretty good but I'll probably take this off and uh, but I, I did want to show some of the subscribers who asked you know hey can't you side load or uh, basically you, you're getting a pretty fantastic device if you'd opt to install the Google Play services because you're getting uh, the Amazon Fire Phone with the full Google Play services so uh, which leads me to the question about the phone being such a bad phone um, by other people why not just silo if it you know bothers you that much but hey to each his own uh, again, the price is not worth 650. It's not worth 450. Maybe 450 on a good day. If it had a 5.5 inch display, yes. Uh, but for this 4.7 inch and with the specs that it's got and the way it performs, it's fantastic. Uh, but I would say 200 should be where they should have popped this off. This 32 gig, and then the 64 gig could have been 299. Now I think some other people mentioned that in the comments too in another video or another post I did, but. I would agree with them. $199 for the 32 gig unlocked and $299 for the 64 gig. They could have sold a boatload of these. And I think it would have worked out fantastic for them, even without the Google Play services. So there you have it. Google Play services in full effect on the Amazon Fire Phone. Check the link for the description if you decide to download the four APKs. Just remember to install them in this order. One more time. First, second, third, fourth. Just remember that Google Play is last. 
One, two, three, four. And you'll be good to go on your Amazon Fire Phone. Take care, guys. I'll see you in the next one.